it takes more than two months to receive these records. Why does it take that long? Because the cosmetic design is fully customized. At first glance, the packaging looks definitely different from all the other regular version of the same rackets. Because you don't normally get this really nice copper box to hold your rackets, and it really makes me feel it protects the rackets really well during the shipping. So inside of this box, other than the rackets, you also get a little gift from Wilson, and this is more of a badge. The material. Sounds really hard and stiff, and from the pattern, I guess it's a carbon fiber, and it also has some scripts printed here. So one of the things in the custom world for your rackets is that you can put some personalized script on the rackets, and this personalized script it's already on the rackets, but it also printed out on this little badge for you. So it's really nice. The script I choose to print on the racket is Keep Faith. Although originally I wanted to print my name, but later on I just feel like it's a little bit too narcissistic. So probably a more general, good intention, purpose script would be more helpful. And also, what if in future I want to switch to a different line of rackets, different models, and I want to sell these rackets to someone, and no one wants my name to be. Printed on the rackets, so probably keep faith will be a much better choice, and I like this word too. The racket is red inside this racket bag. It has more of a velvet material-like feeling, and also has a really nice stitched script saying the model of this racket. Just by touching it and looking at the reflection of the light from the script, you definitely feel some premium quality from the script. Wilson definitely put some thought. In it. All right, let's take a look at the rackets. That is the overlook of the rackets. I bet you barely see this kind of color combination in any rackets, but I kind of like it because the color is really vivid and bright, which is really unique. I like the pink part of this racket particularly. The name for this pink from the website is called Neon Pink. What's really beautiful about this color is that it reflects light. It's not the type of reflection you normally see from a glossy surface. This one, this neon pink, has some sort of matte effect on the reflection. So you can see the reflection of the light, but it's not as strong. It has a matte effect. It makes it really beautiful. The other main accent of this racket is the green color. I chose this color mainly because I don't normally see a lot of this green color on the main frame of the rackets, so I feel it's really unique. It gonna pops out immediately when you swing your rackets and the cords. Other than the color on the frame, you can choose. You can also choose different finishes with the different colors. You have three options for the finishes on the frame: glossy, matte, and velvet. This one is velvet. I know for someone who never saw this color, will be really confused about how they actually look like. But I happen to have three rackets with the three different finishings, so I can put them side by side, and we can just do a visual comparison. So I happen to have three generations of pro staff, so they all have some sort of different finishing on the rackets. So these previous two are the standard color of that generation. So everyone with that same generation has the same color, but the last one is completely customized. So for the velvet texture, you can barely see where the light is from just by looking at the reflection of those light. It becomes really obvious when you look at this part. You can see really clearly that there is some light directly reflected into your eye on this part, and the second half of the rackets in the middle. This part. Is also velvet, same texture finishing as the green one, so you can see how much difference from the two different finishings when you see how the light is reflected from the surface. And the oldest of the version is, I would say, the reflection, the brightness of the light from the surface is 
in between these two. Because it still sort of has a reflection, but it's not that strong. It's not that clear as the this part. I think this part is more glossy. And for much earlier version of Rackets, not Pro Staff. It has very pure metallic reflection of the lights. And the reflection is much stronger than the black in the middle. But such a finishing is really seen nowadays. So the mainstream is no longer this kind, I would say, for a lot of Wilson line of rackets. So if you're curious to what level your customization can be done, you can go to Wilson's official website, their tennis department to see those customization. You can play around in a customization web page. So here I'll just quickly go through what I've done to each part on these particular rackets. I choose the bumper, the grommet, to be color white. And you can also choose this part, it's called top of the hoop, to be different color. You can also choose different kinds of finishing. You have matte, glossy, and velvet. Other than the color of the top of the hoop, you can also choose the color of this fine line you can see here in the yellow. You can choose different color. They call this line as pin strips. Then it goes down to the color of the main frame. So this entire part, the bottom part of the frame, can only be customized into one color, one finishing. Other than you can separate it into different parts. So basically your main frame, top part, the top of the hoop, and the main frame, you can only customize the, these two kinds of color. So a little bit more details on the main frame that you can customize. For example, here, I have these two strips. You can also customize them to different kinds of color. You can also choose the finishing and color of Wilson's logo, but you cannot get rid of it. You had a stick with a Wilson's logo, you have to have it. And then it's the color of the grip but it doesn't matter that much because this is just a replacement grip. At the end of the day, you have to wrap your own of a grip. You can choose whatever color you like. So I don't think this part matters that much. And the last part you can personalize is the script that you want to put on your rackets. It only allows you to put the script on this particular part on your rackets. So here, the word I put is keep face. It's a little bit difficult to see with a green background and white front color, but I just think color white and green is kind of a good combination. Reminds me of Wimbledon, so why not? What I'm going to do now is going to put a string on the rackets and put the overgrip on the rackets too, but which color looks better with this entire color design, lime green, or simply color white? Let me know, leave a comment down below. So I also want to put some lead tape on top of the frame. The reason I want to put some weight on top of the rackets is because when you wrap your overgrip around your handle, you add some weights of this little thing onto the bottom part of the rackets. Every single racket has its own weight balance. So when you add more weight on this end, and this top of the racket is going to be lighter. So how much weight that we want to put on top of the frame depends on how much weight the overgrip is going to weigh. So it's a measure around 7.7, .7, but I would say probably I would just add 6 gram of lead tape on top of it. This is because there's still a layer of transparent plastic to protect the tacky part of the overgrip. So when you strip it off, you will let some weight from 7.7. .7. So normally it's around 6 or 7, but I feel good just put 6 gram of lead tape on top of it. 
I choose this particular set of strings just because this color is a rainbow, so it matches pretty well with the frame of these rackets. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video fun to watch. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, please leave me a comment down below. Until next time, take care.